Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Colt Enigma ROM for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Colt Enigma ROM this one i mean the cold os has been out for some time now and i have used the previous versions of this rom it's a very interesting rom it is usually a rom with the bare minimum features and uh, with a great stability and battery life which i really really liked now the enigma version is their pi release and it is actually pretty damn awesome i really like this one let's get started now first of all in the about phone page you will see all change log all that is available android version is 9 um cold build is uh, this one this is the latest version which is available here and from the forums i can make out that they are using the uh Mahdi's extended kernel which is a great kernel for any rom on the oneplus 3 and that's a really good thing uh so you are going to expect a lot of features about that so it's been working out really well so you can see kernel version is 3.18.124 it doesn't say Mahdi's extender but it is what it is so yeah as you can see there is this logo and all that which is pretty cool still using october 5 security patches which uh well it's going to get updated soon enough so that's also there they are planning an update schedule of about uh, every week so in the system option you also have the option for the gesture option so double tap the power button for gestures and all that is available so that is it in the about phone page now let's get to the features now uh, before i get started on anything the rom is super stable one more thing which i do want to add is that if you didn't know this i am no longer using the oneplus 3 as my daily driver the review is going to be different today because the main thing is i won't be grading anything uh, i will be talking about this and uh, will be reflecting on the experience whose phone this is right now the battery life i've actually opened this up and it's, it, she was using this phone as normal so i won't be grading any roms uh, on the oneplus 3 because well that's not my daily driver anymore let's get to the features now first of all this is a very good feature rich rom it does have ulde i have tried it out it does work out so you don't need to worry about that apart from that all the features are inside the cold enigma options so in the status bar option you can see status bar item can be customized which is pretty cool works out really well battery icon can be customized it does have all of these options and also battery percentage can be enabled inside the icon outside the icon traffic indicator can be enabled there is a threshold level for that which does work out really well 4g icon vld icon can be customized enabled or disabled whichever you want then the quick setting option you can set the opacity of the quick setting panel show CPU info you can have that uh, brightness slider can be enabled brightness slider on the bottom can be customized if you want that on this one it does work out it doesn't have the brightness auto icon available which uh, I would have liked to have but hey it is how, what it is QS style can be customized as you can see I have selected the circle with the trim option you can have dual circle or a dual trim circle and even the square circle with the trim so you can also have that quick pull down smart pull down is available vibrate on touch is available which is pretty cool then the recent application section in the recent menu you can customize between pi and oreo which is pretty cool uh, it does have two other options which is clear all button and the clear all location it doesn't have a uh, dedicated clear all button on the pi option i mean for example i mean in different things you do have have a clear all button normally whenever you are using this one so it does work out so in the buttons option you do have volume rocker customization it does have the two essential one which is the playback control and also the volume key control which i really like to have hardware key customization you can customize the backlight so it does work out really well accident touch is available back home and uh, the home button the overview button can be customized to any of these uh, it is the AOSP style customization you, you have all of the options uh, home button and ringing uh, for accepting a call is also available for people uh, navigation button can be customized navigation uh, bar can be enabled or disabled doesn't have the swipe animation gesture which is there notification in call vibrations can be enabled from here which is really cool in the last option you do have customization for locking charging indicating Lost in options, double tap to sleep, double lost in shortcut can be customized. In the power menu options, it does have a lot of options here, so it does work out really well. You can customize all of this. In the coat decorator, in this one, you will find the Omni style uh, theming engine, which is available with MSM Extended and uh, all that. I really like this one, it does have a few extra colors also. I really really like this one it does work out really really well it's just amazing uh, I'm using the zero zero color you do have a customization for composing everything it does have all of these colors available as the primary color and all these accents which 
works out really well i really like the uh, theming engine on this one uh, more than the uh, theming engine on other aosp rom so that's pretty cool and then we have the about cult os page where you can see the change log and uh, do all sorts of things here you can see the developers for this so you can actually find all of this information here so it does work out really well and uh, it's a great thing now apart from that in the display options you do have nightlight which you can enable disable from here so that does work out really well adaptive brightness can be enabled which is normally what you should keep enabled font size and display size can be customized apart from that all of these options are also available it does also have a device theme which is automatic and light and dark now it does work uh, but i would prefer to use the theming engine which is available in the omni style one so that's something there sound options can be customized from here it does have vibrate to call it doesn't have the uh, the increasing ring uh, volume which is uh, something which i use personally apart from that everything basically is the same thing it does have device settings where you can swap the buttons uh, originally out of the rom or out of the box after flashing this one has the samsung style layout which i have swapped to this uh, normal oneplus layout which is there you can customize that work out very well notification slider can be enabled from here i mean you can customize what all stuff does uh, you can see that sRGB mode is enabled and white color mode is available. No high brightness mode though, which I would have liked to have, but anyways, that is there. Now, I mean, this place triggers are also available from here, which you can enable and it does work out really well. So, there, there you have it, it just works. Uh, gesture options are also available for the off screen gestures, you can enable or disable that. Something else which is available are the options which is in the quick setting panel. You can customize into all of these options, which is really cool. Also, these are the options you can customize the number of tiles and all that from here. So, it does work out really well it, it this is my more favorite one because the other one causes uh when editing stuff it will have three and you will have to start from memory how it's going to look so i mean these are niggles though but uh it is niggles nonetheless so that's available so yeah that is it in the extra feature section as you can see it is a loaded rom but nowhere close to anything like Havoc or MSM Extended where there is a lot on tap. So uh, it's a very a very feature rich ROM. It is missing a few things though. Heads up display customization which I consider to be a very essential feature. Uh, that's not really there. You cannot customize that. The timeout and snooze function which I normally keep it disabled. So I mean these are few things which are, it's missing. Um, but in no way is it a very big deal, break, deal breaker or anything of that sort. But it is really really there. Now let's get to the battery life the battery life has been uh, pretty good for me in fact uh, it, uh, from the from the graph and from the scores which i've received it's been really really great now this is uh, just before i just full charge my device the battery was uh, pretty good for uh, the user of this phone also uh, the active drain is somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 to 15 percentage or 13 to 14 percentage to be exact and uh, that's pretty cool i really like that it's uh, not something which you find in a normal rom now the idle drain is around 1.2 percentage which is also this rom has been in operation for about 36 hours maybe one and a half days maybe by this time you will probably get a good cycle of battery life or two the battery life is actually pretty good in my opinion now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom is also pretty great uh the last highest performing rom which i got was sky dragon with a score of about 162,000, i guess this one is almost right up there this is the last score which i received the average score is going to come up, up, up at about 161,732, which is still a very very good score fire roms are generally more performance uh, performing roms they have been getting 160s and all that constantly i do not have pubg installed right now um i am thinking of getting it done bear with me on this one but hey pubg should work out really well as it would in any other rom so yeah now the stability of the rom the stability of the rom is also pretty good i did have an issue where the fingerprint scanner just did not work correctly uh which is one of those things which does tend to happen it did happen multiple times though um sometimes it just works sometimes it did not work if the phone is used by someone a technophobe uh, like the one who is using right now uh, it might get a little, little jarring but anyways that these things tend to happen with a new rom so it's not a huge deal there's also a situation where i enabled an option like the uh, the ambient display trigger options but it did not work i had to re-disable and then re-enable that to get it to work so these things does happen stability wise but everything else is really cool no phone calls were cut uh, you while using this phone so that's really cool now the camera the camera uh, the one with which it comes is the basic camera application nothing special it's just basic basic stuff you can install google camera and google camera is kind of coming up with all sorts of things like night mode and all that so it works really really well so 
that there you have it that is the camera for it now the aesthetics of the ROM I've already told you guys aesthetics I love the aesthetics on this one it just works really really well as you can see everything is here it it just works I'm really really happy about this one the, the theming engine in this one is very very customizable not just dark mode not just light mode it has tons of other options like translucent trans mode and this ROM also comes with a few extra built-in stuff which I really really like it considering all that I really 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 like the uh, theming engine in this one it just works really really well now comes the overall experience of the ROM the overall experience you while using this ROM uh, was pretty good actually I didn't have any issues with that I neither did the person who is using this one apart from that fingerprint issue where I had to just restart the phone which well it did happen but I mean it's not it shouldn't be a deal breaker it happened multiple times even though it shouldn't have but it's what it is but uh, I, I, I don't think that to be a huge deal when you are dealing with a custom ROM so that is one thing there let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool on this one so guys there you have it that is the boot animation and that is a very detailed boot animation um, you don't see such a high quality high resolution boot animation anymore and i'm really really happy about happy to see that one because it just works really well so guys there you have it that is the cult enigma rom this is in development this is going to get better and i really like it already i mean it is a very very good rom i wouldn't mind using this as a daily driver for someone who is not me um i like more features that's i guess everyone knows that these are the features which is available for this rom hope you guys like the video as i've already said i have not used this extensively i've used this just for the purpose of uh, getting everything ready uh checking out everything and uh, I, I just gave it away to my mom after everything is set up so she'll use it as uh, she does and um, I mean considering from her usage it is about an average to moderate amount of usage which is uh, right up there with any other Android user so battery score is basically what I get from the normal usage which is available there and I think that should work out really well so yeah hope you guys like the video please subscribe and like the video if you want it useful see you guys next time bye